everyone. I'm Lindsay Plosek and I lead Call AI product marketing here at MindTickle. I'm a former sales leader of many years and I'm gonna be speaking today about one of my favorite topics, which is how you lead a really kick butt discovery process. So we're gonna demystify the art of the discovery process today. So as you sellers know, um, discovery is really how we create a narrative around driving urgency, how we help our prospects frame up ROI. And when handled poorly, it is completely why we lose deals to competitors. So here are five of my top tips to win more by running a really thorough, um, proper discovery process. So the first one, slow down to speed up. Discovery is not a single call. It is an entire process that even extends to the CS team after that customer uh, comes on with us. So discovery is all about getting to know your customer's pain points, opportunities to generate new revenue for their business, the intricacies of their processes, their workflows, their team structures, and how they measure success at their organization, including how they're commissioned, how they're bonused, you know, what gets them excited each day. And so that is an entire process that should be happening on every single call. Number two, prepare ahead of time. Please don't just show up and throw up. There's too much technology and social media out there for you to show up knowing nothing about you know, your prospects, um, activity on LinkedIn, their company fiscal year, um, you know, what products and tech stack they use today, what's happening in their industry and in their market. Um, even their tenure at the company, these are things that you should know before you show up on the call. Number three, confirm your agenda ahead of time. This is what I plan to share, but what do you want to get out of the call today? And more importantly, is there anything that's changed or that I should be aware of since we last spoke? So this is a power question that a lot of people either don't ever ask or they ask at the end. You really wanna ask this at the beginning of the meeting so you go in with full context on what you're facing. Number four, make it conversational. Any rep, including sales engineers, should be talking 54% of the time or less. A mentor told me the ceiling to flattery does not exist. People wanna hear themselves talking. Even introverted people on sales calls wanna hear themselves talking. So give the prospect a chance to speak, have those six, seven questions prepared, including two to four that are really engaging questions that you know can't be answered by a yes or no and that get people speaking for 30 seconds or more. Um, that is really, really key. And so some of my most favorite uh, engaging questions, what prompted you to explore a solution right now? The key, key phrase there being right now. Tell me about your current process, your current workflow. Where is it breaking down? Are there any important dates and timelines I should be aware of? Um, are you considering any other solutions? This is one a lot of people are afraid to ask, but we wanna know if people are considering other solutions, including competitors, alternatives, or you know, even considering doing nothing. And number five, identify and prioritize those highly educated prospects. We live in the era of digital sales before anyone even gives you their time. They've probably done a good 60 to 70% of their homework. Um, and there are things you can listen for to know that you're dealing with an educated prospect and those are the folks that are more likely to close. So if, if the prospect is asking a question, one question every three minutes or so, that's usually a good sign. If they're mentioning a competitor, maybe three, four times, but ideally five, six, the more the better. That actually means you have a higher opportunity to close that deal. So those are my five top tips to help improve your discovery process. I would love to hear your tips, so please drop them in the comments, and we'll be coming at you soon with more content like this. Thanks for listening.